Hey everybody, it's Chelsea here and I'm back to film another video. Today I'm sharing with you guys my all-time lipstick favorites. Now lipstick is my favorite lip product in general uh, besides lip balm. I'm really not a lip gloss kind of girl. I just think it's goopy. It's just really not for me. My hair always gets in it. I just think it's a big hassle. I strongly prefer lipsticks and I have three main categories here. I have our kind of reds and corals and berries in that family. I have our pinks of all varieties and then lastly our nudes. So let's hop right in. The first lipstick I'm going to start with is the one I'm wearing today. Now this is a deep kind of vampy berry color. It is by MAC and is called Craving. Now this is an amplified formula lipstick meaning it is very concentrated, pigmented, and um, very rich. So a little bit goes a long way and it provides a very rich color payoff. I love the color um, and it's, you know, you will need a mirror to apply this on, but today I didn't use a lip liner and you can see it's not too mess messy. I don't get much of a color bleed. But um, again, if, if you're wearing this and you're talking a lot, uh, drinking, eating, kissing, who knows, uh, maybe, you know, layer it with a lip liner underneath or just be prepared to reapply. But love MAC Craving. Next up, I'm going to go with my favorite red, and this is by Rimmel. It is their Moisture Renew lip Lipstick, and the shade is 900 Red Alert. This is a, a formula with SPF 18, and it's a creamy, rich, fabulous shade. Uh, it's really a red-toned uh, sorry, uh, excuse me, a blue toned red. So it's like your classic fire engine red. Uh, goes great with any pinup look you're doing. So a strong red lip with a bold um, winged cat eyeliner. Um, love this. My favorite red. I think it's the only really red I have in my collection currently. I've just kind of thrown out um, a lot of stuff that I haven't been using or has been, you know, three, four years old. You're not supposed to keep lipstick that long. So that's currently the only red in my collection. Next up is my all-time favorite coral. Now this is a Maybelline Color Sensational, I believe is what the line is called, and the shade is 515 Coral Crush. It's a beautiful matte coral, so there's no shimmer in this, and it goes on beautifully. Kind of has a, uh, you know, glazy kind of finish, does catch some light with it. Um, these lipsticks do smell like Play-Doh, so I, I find that a little weird, uh, but I don't wear it all the time, so it doesn't really bother me, but you get, like, flashbacks to your childhood and preschool days when you wear this stuff, I tell you. Uh, but again, fabulous coral. Since I am a little bit more fair-skinned, um, I will kind of do the more fresh face look where I won't do too bold of an eye, you know, just kind of a light shimmery blush and really keeping the coral up the focal point of my makeup that day. Love this coral. Uh, it's affordable and very great quality. Um, again, recommend a lip liner um, underneath or just prepared, be prepared to uh, reapply throughout the day if you're talking, eating, etc. Next up, let's move into the pinks, and I love pink. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off with three uh, NYX shades. Now, the first, ones are, <laughs> the first one I'm going to start off with is Narcissus. Now, this is from their Black Label lipstick line, and it is a hot Barbie pink. Now, this is a blue tone pink. It's actually very similar to uh, Viva Glam Gaga number one. So you can see it right there. Very creamy, very rich, uh, but the, kind of with the trade-off with those creamy, easy-to-apply lipsticks is that they will also come off the easiest. So bring this out with you if you're wearing it uh, because it will fade and rub off if you're talking a lot. You're kind of a chatterbox like me, so love Narcissus. Next up is Fig. Now this is more of a medium range pink, lovely color. I love layering this with NYX's Pinky Lip Liner and filling my lips all the way in and then layering this on top. Uh, it kind of gives that fuchsia kind of magenta lip and I love it. Uh, I think it looks great with my hair color and my, my fairness. Um, I think it's just a great look. I strongly prefer that over a red lip on the on the regular and it lasts a long time too. So great color there. That's fig. Next up from NYX is Tea Rose. Now this is more of a mauve pink and as you can see uh, this kind of tube has taken a little bit of a beating. I think I took it out on a hot day or it was in my pocket so it kind of got a little warped and nasty but the color is still awesome and I will not throw it out until I get my my proper use out of it. So as you can see um, has more undertones of mauve and nude but beautiful everyday kind of lip color there. Nothing too crazy. If you work in a conservative office, work environment, definitely recommend that. 
Next up is a lipstick I picked up at IMATS, and this is from Lime Crime Cosmetics. As you can see, it comes in this fun lilac tube with a holograph holographic unicorn on it. You gotta love it, right? But I promise this packaging's no gimmick because this lipstick is a, is no joke. It's called um, Great Pink Planet, and it is gorgeous. It is a not an everyday color, admittedly, but I'll swatch it right here. Tell me for yourself. This just screams Nicki Minaj to me. I don't know, I know she has her own lipstick, but I see this and I think of her. It's a blue tone, kind of lilac-y pink. Um, you know, you could sheer it out, but you know, the color is very rich, very creamy. These are also vegan friendly and cruelty free, so they don't test on animals or anything like that. Um, and they're very high quality, so a lesser known brand, but awesome stuff. I highly recommend Lime Crime. I've only had this for a few weeks, but it's already my favorite, so love it. <clears throat> Next up is Max Cream Cup. Now, this was actually my Back to Mac bag, which Back to Mac is a recycling program Mac stores have where you can turn in empty containers to get uh, free items, and it's completely gone. But Cream Cup is a cream sheen formula, and I'll just, I can't swatch it without digging into like the, the base of it, but it is a nudie pink. Here it is right here lovely medium pink shade. I think this works well with a lot of skin tones and it was my everyday shade for a very long time. That's why I'm out. Um, one word, you know, of advice with this and any cream sheen formula lipstick from MAC is to apply it uh, gently in like a stamping motion first because if it's very rich and um, concentrated so if you try and swipe it straight across you might run the risk of breaking it off at the base um, because they are so kind of like richly pigmented so kind of stamp it across your lips first and then kind of blot and then you can glide the tube across but fabulous color I think that when I turn in all my items I'm probably just gonna get this again uh, you turn six containers I think and you get a free lipstick so I'm probably gonna get re-up my um, cream cup supply Next up is another MAC lipstick. This is in Hue. Now, another very popular lipstick. This is a glaze finish from MAC, and you'll see what I mean once I swatch it on my hand. It is a more sheer, kind of more glossy, see how the light kind of reflects it a lot more than the other lipsticks on my hand? Um, this will give you a lighter color payoff on your lips, but again, with the heat, and humidity. If you have this in your pocket, this one, you know, you see how it's kind of warped? I think I had it in my pocket maybe when I was in a nightclub or a bar or something, or it kind of got a little bit too much friction, a little bit too much heat, so it kind of warped on that side. But lovely lipstick. I love this. Um, great for every day. If you're kind of taking baby steps into the nudes, I would recommend this one because it's not going to mute out your lips, make you look like a vampire. I mean, sorry, a zombie or, you know, something dead great uh, nude because it leans on the pink side so can go both ways um all right so next up gonna jam through these this is another rimmel moisture renew lipstick and this one has a lot of buzz on youtube it is um shade 620 spotlight beige and as you can see this has been well loved i've had this in my collection for a while it is a deeper nude kind of with brownie beige and orange undertones. So again, these lipsticks, they're called Moisture Renew for a reason. They're very moisturizing. Um, I don't find my lips cracking or ever drying out while wearing this. And it's it's nude, but you know, it's kind of a no-brainer kind of deep shade. You can just kind of apply it. You know, I, I'll apply this on the bus without a mirror or, you know, maybe at the office at my desk when nobody's looking. Um, great shade. Definitely recommend picking these up or just checking out the line in general. They have a lot of great shades in their range. <clears throat> Next up is NYX's Circe. So this is another nude. Um, and I'll swatch it right here. It's a little bit lighter than the Moisture, moisture Renew uh, Spotlight Beige that we had before. Um, but then again, a little bit deeper than Max Hue down below. So again, applies with ease, but with these NYX lipsticks especially, they're very inexpensive, but you know, they're great, great colors, but they kind of take a beating pretty easily. So they are very soft, so they melt easily and will kind of get deformed easily. So if you're, say, you know, in the car, you know, in the dark, put it on, you can easily knock it off the base and kind of get it all messy like this one is here. But like I said, I'm not gonna throw them away just because they're a little bit ugly. I'm not even afraid to show them on YouTube. That's my nasty lipstick. 
go ahead, judge me. Um, but it doesn't bother me too much, so I'm gonna use them, get my money's worth. Um, you can find these lipsticks for as cheap as $1.99, I think, on cherryculture.com, um, but they're very inexpensive and they have like 99 colors or more. Um, gotta love it. Next up is Revlon's, let's see, what, what, this is a new one I have in my collection, fairly new, a couple months. Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Soft Nude. Kind of comes in this quilted, kind of luxurious looking packaging. And these are nice because if you're in the drugstore and you're not really sure what the shade might look like on the inside, they have a pretty good, pretty accurate color uh, cap. Now here's the shade right here. This is a gorgeous light nude. Here it is right here. If you saw me at IMATS, this is what I was wearing most of the days. Uh, this is my ideal nude if I'm wearing a smoky eye. This or a uh, hue down here. A little bit lighter, but um, this is a little bit, you know, six, seven dollars cheaper. So again, another nude that you can kind of just slap on. It's a no-brainer. Lovely shade and it's pretty moisturizing. Um, you do have to reapply this quite a bit. I feel like it does wear off quick, you know, as quick as the Moisture Renews or the NYX lipsticks, um, but then again, whatever, I'll just keep it in my purse and that's fine. Last up, I'm gonna go out with a bang and I have my most expensive lipstick here and it's also my most special occasion kind of lipstick and it's Givenchy's um, Rouge Interdit uh, shade 26 voluptuous nude so it comes in this sleek packaging it's kind of like reverse packaging um, instead of the cap coming off the tube the tube goes into the cap so it comes out like this and here's a lipstick right here kind of has a little, little Givenchy little tassel at the end but roll it on up it is a beautiful nude now let's swatch out the top up here now as you can see right here it's the most glossy, I would say, glaze-like of my nudes. Um, compared to Max Hue down here, he was definitely more pink. This is more nude. But, you know, this is also the most moisturizing out of any lipstick I think I have here. Um, this is a great color. It's nude, goes with everything, uh, but it's also a no-brainer. You can just slap it on and your lips aren't, you know, you're not gonna really have it on your teeth. You're not gonna get it on your clothes. Um, it's just awesome and you know it kind of has that you know when you're a kid and you smell your parents or your grandparents lipsticks it kind of has that old lipstick old lady lipstick kind of scent um but I don't know I love the color so much and I'll occasionally take it out you know on the weekend but I want to conserve this as long as I can because it's definitely the most expensive I have in my collection but love it um again here are all the swatches on my hand these are just my favorites. I have a lot in trying to go through my collection before I purchase more lipstick, but these are my go-to. Um, any of these shades, you can find me wearing them, a lot of them in the summer, exclusively like the corals and, and the reds, um, I might exclusively wear in the winter. So, and then the pinks and the nudes, year round for me. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna list everything down below and where you can find it online. Uh, most of these, I think, are in permanent collections, so you should be able to find them today. And I think I might be doing another video like this, um, doing my top, t you know, top 10 or all-time favorite nail polishes, blushes, and whatnot. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye!